Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Vlog. I am the critic, who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. And today, we're going to talking about a story that just broke earlier today. That and apparently now it is official that Robert Pattinson is going to be the next Batman. Now there are two different stories here, which both say different things. And I think words, especially in journalism, should matter. Now whether or not the people writing those words actually believe in that or not, I honestly can't say, and I honestly can't speak for them. But I like to look at the words that they say because I do think that they speak rather volumes. And so as as you says here, Warner Brothers apparently has approved Robert Pattinson as the star of The Batman, the trilogy of films that Matt Reeves will direct later this year, Deadline Hears. Again, this is the reason why I try and break these things down, because Deadline Hears. I'm not trying to say that Robert Pattinson is not. I'm not saying that he won't eventually be Batman. What I'm merely trying to say is that it doesn't sound like anything has actually been signed by any party at any point. And one of the many reasons why I really do believe this is because of this last paragraph here, rather this um, this uh, second paragraph here. It says, those meetings happened yesterday when they were deciding between Nicholas Holt and Robert Pattinson. I am told and the decision was made. Again, being told this. Holt, who starred in Tolkien, is about to reprise the latest X-Men first class film, Dark Phoenix. Was, was impressive, but Pattinson will be the guy and negotiations will get underway at any moment. So again, negotiations with his contract with his agents have not been finalized according to deadline. Now, Variety words things a little bit differently, with the headline, Robert Pattinson is officially the Batman. He is officially the new Batman. Warner Brothers has closed a deal for the Twilight actor to play the Cape Crusader in The Batman, the first of these films coming out in June 25th, 2021. Uh, Variety first reported on May 16th that Pattinson was in negotiations for the part. The studio confirmed on Friday that he had signed a deal. Okay, so this is coming from Variety. So as you can see, two different stories. The one that came from Deadline broke very early this morning. This one only broke about a few, about a half an hour ago or so, uh, Pacific Standard Time. And so it seems to be the case that it is indeed finally official that Robert Pattinson has been cast as the Batman. But the reason why I always come in with speculation, the reason why I always come in with my doubts is because I don't think anyone can say that the news of this was a slam dunk for anyone. I don't think that anyone can say that overwhelming people when they heard this news were like, oh yeah, Robert Pattinson's going to be great, even though I do honestly think that Robert Pattinson has the potential to surprise a lot of people. Sometimes people forget that he has done other films other than the Twilight Saga, and he has been pretty good in some of those roles as well. That all being said, just because you're good in certain roles, just because you do have some range as an actor, does not necessarily mean that you are the best person for the parts. But, just like with everything else, we really cannot make our judgments, and we really have to save our judgments until we get an official image of him in the bad suit, official image of him as Bruce Wayne, but also to an official trailer with him doing a voice, not doing a voice. Really, a lot of questions are going to be left unanswered until we actually get under filming, which is supposed to take place over the next couple of months, and so we should get ourselves some pretty early set footages, uh, set footage and behind the scenes action once that actually starts happening so it sounds like according to variety so again as i said before deadline worded it in a way where they could have changed it any moment just in case things were not the case variety is stating it very clearly saying that they have heard and it has been declared by uh the studio that he has indeed signed a deal even though they themselves do not exactly link to an article to confirm nearly as much. Now, I'm not trying to say that they're lying. I'm not trying to say they're just trying to get the clicks, but I, of course, always like to try and have every single thing I have at my availability, so that way I can confirm various news before I report on it. But guys, what are y'all's thoughts about this? Do you think that Robert Pattinson is going to be a good Batman? Again, I think that this is about as close as we can get to being official, and I really do think at this point that it's, you know, pretty much a closed deal at this point that he is going to be the next Batman. But what do you guys think? I know that there have been a lot of different opinions about who would be better, Robert Pattinson or Nicholas Holt. But there have also been a lot of opinions and a lot of thoughts on Robert Pattinson himself. I think that he's come a long way and my... Uh, webpage has now finally just died for some reason, but I think that Robert Pattinson has come indeed a very, very long way since he first started off officially or really getting his career undergoing with the Twilight Saga, and I hope that he's able to show everybody that he is going to be able to pull it off, though of course I look at this picture here and I say, hmm, not really someone that can grow much facial hair, but of course what am I going to say about that. <laughs> anyway, so please let me know your own thoughts about all of this in the comments below. Let me know in the pinned comment as well if you think he's going to do a great job and what your reasoning behind it is. You know, for me, I think that he has a chance because I think any actor can pull something from within themselves that is going to be something that most people have not seen and have not borne witness to. And I think that obviously Robert Pattinson would still also fall into that same boat as well. So please let me know your own thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, smash the like button, give me a subscribe. You're all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day. And as always, God bless.